Hi, I'm Chris Coombs, Quality Manager with Innovator, your partner in building a leak-free workplace. This video is sharing with our prospective clients uh, six tips or best practices for building a leak-free workplace. With winterization uh, of leaks, you really want to look for those, those minor leaks that you could live through during the summer. So your small, small diameter valves, um, really, really small leaks that you recognize but you've got bigger priorities. The difference being that that small leak in the summer has a small steam plume or it's not creating the, the same slipping hazard as it would when temperatures drop below zero. So fixing those leaks as the temperature gets colder to eliminate those hazards is what a winterization program is all about. Your minor leak in January would actually look to you, to anyone, like a major leak. In July you, you may not even know it was leaking. Or well, you're looking at potentially doing a, an in-service line stop to isolate that equipment or a full plant shutdown. E either, either one, um, time consuming and, and costly to, to an operator. We can identify leaks that are invisible. Um, we do that through ultrasonics. So for instance, um, if you have a compressed air leak, um, dry compressed air, there will be no condensation, so you would not see the same uh, cloud like you would see in a steam leak. But the leak does create vibration in the air in the ultrasonic frequency, and we can use an acoustic tool to listen for that noise and detect the leak. So based on the amount of ultrasonic frequency or noise detected, um, inputting the service, so we know that it was a compressed air or whatever the, the leak was, we can actually input that into the software and develop an actual cost impact for that leak and for every leak that we catalog during our visit. Common leaks in our industry are flange gasket leaks. These leaks can be fixed by utilizing an engineered enclosure, uh, which is a regula regulated repair and it can involve some wait time. The traditional method to repair these leaks is drilling and tapping the OD of the flange to inject sealant. Innovator has taken the same idea and approach as an engineered enclosure but we've engineered injection fittings that we can use to replace the destructive drilling and tapping of your flange. So these fittings are actually installed on the studs of the flange or the replaced inversion of a cap nut or the injection ring which is installed using the hardware for the flange. When we use this type of method, um, there is a, the potential for drilling into a live system is eliminated. So when we drill and tap a flange, we actually drill into that system and break through. Secondly, we actually um, deform your flange when we, we either drill in, so then you're going to drill a hole in the flange, or when we peen the, uh, the faces together, then that actually creates uh, damage to your flange as well. So while we try to eliminate that, eliminate the need for you to replace your flange by using injection hardware.